uh, feed one in. Well, you know, you know, in terms of uh, Tyson Fury, when, when he, he got, got up, rails. when he got up yeah. from uh, that knockdown, yeah. that was the best thing that ever happened to his career. Well, yes, it became a talking point. No, because he had all these networks, all these companies lining up to give him money. Yeah, the story. They say that he's got a hundred million dollar contract with uh, ESPN. Wow. You know, and that's because he rose up. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, it was one hell of a story. Yeah. And let's not forget the color of his skin. Yeah. Oh, but he's, but he's still a traveller. Yeah, but he's... As, as white as he is, he's still a traveller. He's still a traveller, yeah. Uh, but, you know, boxing hasn't had a white heavyweight champion for so long. Uh, are you sure? Well, yeah, Tommy Morrison. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko, Vitaly Klitschko. Oh, yeah, but... Nikolai you know what I mean? Nikolai Vanya. British or, or... Or do Eastern Europeans not count as white now? British, a British they, or European. Are they second-class citizens? A British yeah. or an American, sorry. Okay, okay. I, sorry I, I should have said that. Yeah, British a, or American. A proper white. Yeah, well, if, it is, if an Irish traveller is regarded as white, then uh, he's your man. Is he not? Is he what white? did everyone regard themselves as? Well, they're another second class or third class citizen, aren't they? Okay. I mean, the real gypsy people yeah. originate from northern India. Right. The real... Uh, they're called Gypsy because people thought they were from Egypt, uh -huh. but actually their roots go back to northern India. Okay. But the Irish travellers are more likely Irish people that were made homeless during the famine yes. and have been travelling ever since. But they get intertwined. When I say are they white... But if he's an Irish traveller, yeah. but he's always been in Ireland and England. Yeah. So he hasn't gone anywhere else. Yeah. A traveller just means by blood, okay. by heritage. Oh, right, okay. His roots are of the travelling people. Oh, I see. And yeah, um, they might be white skinned, but they're certainly a, a, a minority and uh, overlooked and discriminated against minority. But is that to do with them not wanting to be part of the system? Yeah, that's right. They I do think, their own thing. Yeah, they do their own thing. They don't have a birth certificate, they don't get vaccines, right. like, uh, they're, or they don't fit in with society. Okay. And that's not allowed either. Uh, he's been accused of homophobia in yeah. the past, and he has made remarks that would be considered homophobic, but as he says, he's a religious man, and if his book says uh, homosexual acts are immoral, he has to stand by that. It's like what we said the other day, isn't it? There's no... No compulsion in religion. Would never compromise your religion. Well, so Barbara, <laughs> you should put that on a t-shirt. So yeah, when they want to criticise people like Manny Pacquiao and Tyson Fury, who are Christian, they will, but the Queen has the same view. The Queen is yeah, yeah. the head of the church. Yeah. And just because you think something is wrong, doesn't mean you hate the person. Exactly, you hate the, 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 the act. You're just saying, oh, my morals forbid me to do that. Yeah, it's a weird thing, morality. A what is morality? Of, yeah, is it just an opinion? What is morality? Does it change with time? Sometimes I think that, you know, that the system, you know, has just been created. You know, this system that the governments have created. Yeah. Like, everyone, like, you have a pair, a couple, they have a little house, they have a little car, yeah. they have two kids, you know, the dad goes to work, you know, this, this particular system, you know, yeah. it was just designed. I don't think it's like the way or the only way or how it should be. What do you say? How should it be? I mean, there's many ways of living, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why should it be confined to that? Yeah, and any, anyone who steps outside that box, yeah. like the travelling community, yeah. will be criticised and frowned upon. Like you've got communities like uh, the Mormon community, for example. I mean, how many wives do they take on? 80? Yeah, you know, quite a few. A lot? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. You know, yeah. they live on their terms. Yeah. 
think officially they stopped doing that, but I'm sure it still happens. Oh, I'm pretty sure it still happens. Yeah. I mean, what about the tribes? The tribes, the remaining few tribes left on this earth. Yeah. You know, they're still living. But have you seen that one? I mean, there's headhunter tribes that still exist. Wow. But they obviously, they don't, they stopped decapitating okay. years ago. But they still see themselves as headhunters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just that they can't practice that anymore because it's not needed. There's an island off the coast of India, I think it's called Sentinel Island. Yeah, Sentinel, yeah, yeah. I saw this, yeah. And anyone that goes there, they just descend on them, right? Yeah, they kill them. Yeah. And, uh, they kill them. But, like, see the people there and they're like wearing jeans and that so they've obviously got some the sentinel people i believe they were wearing no, no, what, not do those they, people. what do they wear not those people the sentinel people i i believe that they are um very firmly still stuck in their roots yeah they don't know the concept of money they don't know what tv is they yeah. don't know anything they just know how they live and it's off the coast of india but they're black uh, yeah, but if you look at the southern Indians, yeah. they are a majority of them black because if you look at the Tamil people, they are Tam dark. Tamil people are dark, but they're not black. They're not African. No, but they, uh, the central people don't look black, like Afro. Are you sure? I don't think so. I think they look like Aborigines yeah, from Australia. Yeah, but maybe... They look almost black. Maybe that's how the Aborigines got to Australia. There would be, yeah. Because those sentinel people look very similar to them. I mean, there are pockets of black people in many corners of the earth. Even in the Philippines, there is a ethnic group native to the Philippines that's been there longer than the Filipinos. Yes. The Negritos. Yes. The little black people. Yeah. So when the first populations from Africa set off to explore, some of them stayed as they were in isolated scenarios so the uh, aborigines in australia yeah. but maybe the central people have survived so long i mean they might just be a small tribe now yeah but they survived so long is why because they are so aggressive as well yeah but well they're quite an aggressive society so they look aggressive towards any uh, outsider intruder yeah. i mean they were looking aggressive to each other as well like <laughs> Yeah. Some of the stuff they were doing, yeah, it's like crazy. With a bone through their nose. Yeah, it's like uh, the behavior that they were doing is like, we would see, see it as bizarre. Yeah. Like for them it's normal. Sentinel yeah. Island. But um, I was going to say something now. I was going to get at. Anyway, keep talking. You want to go there? Sentinel? Uh, what, with the Bible? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get killed like that other yeah, guy. Yeah, I know. That's what, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to get at. Oh, God, yeah. So, if you believe in God and you believe in uh, the story of Adam, yeah, uh, you know, Adam was made by water and clay, right? Yeah. Clay is dark, right? Yeah. Exactly. So, for me, I mean, that's where the whole concept of it comes from, like the first man being dark. And okay. the original people of this world being dark, you know? Yeah, well... Archaeology or paleontology uh, or anthropology, whichever one it is, suggests that we began in Africa. Yeah. That civilization yeah. began in Africa. I've also heard the opinion of uh, India. Yeah? Yes. Oh, uh, they could be in India. That Adam, Adam came to India. Well, India, if we look at the tectonic plates, when the earth was yeah. Pangaea, yes. As in, they were all together. Right. India drifted off from Africa. Yeah, there you go. It crashed up into the north. I mean, it was Africa anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Originally. The yeah. Himalayas. Yes. Well, I actually, I actually um, came across that today. Did you? That he landed, yeah, in India. Um, South India, I think it was. Okay. So, and Eve, like Eve descended down to Syria. And that's when they both had this inclination, or like you say, and to meet. Where are you finding this information from? Mostly from Islamic Dawah. From Hadith? Or hadith, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But I mean, in terms of the whole argument of color, 
I yeah. mean, from my, from my opinion and from my understanding, if God created Adam from clay and water and molded him and shaped him, clay to me is from the earth, right? Yeah. So it is dark. So he would be dark. You don't think we might have just evolved from ape-like creatures? <laughs> and these are just stories uh, that have an allegorical uh, meaning. Yeah. I, I mean, people have that opinion too. Uh, I personally don't believe. I believe that there is such a thing as evolution, but I don't believe that we came from that apes. Because uh, it makes you feel uncomfortable. Uh, no, I mean you would, you because would, you because would undermine your religion. Yeah. I wouldn't say it would undermine my religion. Because there are I a lot say of religious people that do believe that as well. They believe that but, we came from apes. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Yeah. I mean, me personally, I don't. I mean, yeah. I, but, but you think God made it one man, one woman, and we're all just and they're children, brothers and sisters, yes. and, and children with each other. Yes, yes. But, but I believe, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you would say you would call that incest now, but yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't deemed as incest then, because your know, man has to um, procreate, right? So you you would rather believe that we descended from human beings that committed incest than ape-like creatures that Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, like, is you're that, saying, you know what I'm saying, but the, thing is, but the thing is, you're saying it like incest, like, you know, they were incestuous people, like they were evil people. No, I'm not saying it's evil, okay. I'm just saying it's incestuous to have sex with yeah, but at the end of the day, it's like, we believe that God makes the laws, you know, so God... And one of his laws is no incest. That is his law, but that came afterwards, just as other laws came afterwards, as man, as man evolved, you could say, as a man changed, you know, other laws came into play. Yeah. Well, I just, the, I prophet, just... the prophet said, some said, if I had told my nation to, 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 to tell them to give up drinking alcohol, there would be no Muslims today. If you did it straight away. If you did it straight away. If you told Muslims to stop drinking alcohol, there would be no Islam today. So it yeah. came afterwards, you know, you have to... Everything has its wisdom, isn't it? There's wisdom to everything. Well, and it wasn't It wasn't the twins... It wasn't the twins that uh, Eve gave birth with twins, right? Yeah. But it wasn't those two twins that were incest with each other. Oh, that's all right then. It was with their brothers and sisters, and then as the as they spread. Oh ah, well, then I mean, yeah. when you put it that way. No, I, I just think it's okay. Funny, well, it's funny that religious Don't. people can't bear yeah. the idea that well, we didn't come from monkeys, which is not what religion, it's not what evolution is saying anyway. Oh. But it's scientifically sound and much more likely. Uh, yeah. But religious people can't bear the idea that we came from an ape-like creature but they don't mind tolerating that yeah the, the, no, but the religion, people committed people, incest people but it wasn't religion, bad no, back there Julian it's not that it's not that they can't bear it it's because yeah, the people it. of the other but it's because the people of the books they believe God created man so we came from man you know, they, they, you understand? That's, the, that's, the, that's the point of it why would why would they believe that because we believe that God created man, he created us, do you understand? It's not, yeah. it's, he, he, he didn't say, oh, if God said, oh, uh, you came from a monkey, then maybe we would believe that, do you understand? Yeah, and with the colour thing, yeah. Adam, I think, means red. What? Adam can mean red colour. It could be. Adam is blood. It could be. Adam means blood. Adam, I think, comes from red, comes from blood, comes from earth, which can have a red right. colour. Right. Uh, but, I mean, it's all... It's yeah. all subjective anyway. Yeah. Uh, but they do say that um, the black man can create different uh, races, different colours. Yeah. Because of his genes. Because of the scientist Jakub. Because of his genes. Yeah. You know, so if you've got a black man and he is, uh, I don't know, making different women pregnant, yeah. You know, he can have different types of babies, different colored babies. But if a white man does that, it wouldn't be so. Are not most children just half the, the mum and half the dad? Yeah. Oh. To creating different races in terms of creating different races. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, races are only recognizable by traits. It, uh, what we call 
we refer to certain trains as uh, recognisable as yeah, certain races. I don't know. Me, I just believe that we're all the same. We're all, equal. we're all equal. We all have the same blood inside of us. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right. I, I, I don't like the conversation when people pull out, oh, the black man is a superior race. Or I don't like when people say, oh, the white man is superior because the white man is intelligent. You know, I don't like those sort of conversations, you know what I mean? It's like, you're going somewhere hateful. You don't like the direction. Yeah, it's because it's going somewhere hateful. And it's going somewhere where you are claiming superiority over another. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. That's a good point. What do you, what if it's true though? What? What, the different, there are differences between the races. There, there, there are differences between okay. the races, but that still doesn't Should mean that we we're not, not equal. about it? Okay. Do you understand? Equal, yes, okay, you can say uh, black people have a particular type of genetic. Do yeah. you understand? They might be good at, for instance, sport. Especially but maybe they're good at sport is because that's all they were encouraged well, to do well, for so long. I think different races excel at different sports. Different, yeah, exactly. And the, they can say the white man is smart, intelligent, because he's done so and so. The well, white man has created more. I mean, the white man has the, con conquered more for the sure. St the, the statistics on IQ level, mm. which is a measure, an apparent measure of intelligence, do not put white people at the top. Who's at the top? The, the, according to average IQ scores, as measured in IQ tests, take it uh, or leave it, mm. whatever that means, mm. the highest inter uh, intelligent ethnic group or the ethnic group of the highest intelligence are the Eastern European Jews, Ashkenazi Jews, followed by East Asians, i.e. Chinese and Japanese, followed by Europeans. Right. So white Europeans are the way to get our third. They're not the most intelligent race. According to that research, and uh, I mean IQ can sort IQ, of IQ can sort of determine one thing. IQ can sort of determine how intelligent you are in maybe common sense and stuff. It's the mindset, like the actions that really determine what you do, you know? So if you look at European history, what they've managed to do, oh, this is a, plunder, uh, yeah, well, pillage. Yeah, I know, is that an intelligent thing to do? I don't know. Uh, but because, this is just the, the yeah. statistics on IQ tests. I'm not saying yeah, IQ yeah. tests are a genuine yes, reflection yes. of actual intelligence yeah. or morality or whatever, but I've read What do you that, think, that what do you think of a particular, um, businesses or corporations that instead of giving them a CV, yeah. they'll give you an IQ test to determine if you can go forward in a, an interview. Fair enough. I mean, that it, an employer has the right to ask you whatever they yeah. want, don't they? Yeah. If that works for them. What, what, like, this is the thing. We, people talk about which is the best, the best martial art. Mm. MMA, tells you that yeah it is the real things that really work people say oh, it won't work in the street whatever works in MMA works yeah it works because that's it being tested under real conditions yes you can uh, I don't uh, argue with, with you there you know no I don't argue with you I believe MMA is a good uh, platform to really f figure out what works and what doesn't work yeah. you know and, and who has, is a superior fighter um, because you've got the opportunity to put in different skills yeah. and test it. Test it. So it's up to you how good you are with those skills. Yeah. You've got to train. Yeah. Do you understand? So the person who trains the hardest and who yeah. can execute those skills or those um, uh, forms yeah. will be successful. That's uh, in reality will, will work in, in, in the end you know? and that's the thing I mean I'm not I'm critical of capitalism but in a way the free market will allow things that work to do well if you sell a product if it's popular you'll be successful as long as you're I believe capital, capitalism or like you said a free market is good but the problem that we're having is that people, they aren't, how can you say, they're not, um, 
being accountable. Yeah. Although having said that, the most popular things are often the crappiest one anyway. Yeah, the, people are being accountable. Yeah. So you've got extremely wealthy people, extremely successful people in business, yeah. and they're literally hiding their wealth. They're hoarding their wealth. Yeah. You know, and you had the opportunity to make that wealth in the particular countries that you're living in, and you don't want to share it. Well, like when the Notre Dame cathedral burned down. Everyone started paying money. Yeah, but yeah. people were crying that, oh, oh why are the rich paying or, for that and they don't pay the Yeah. Well, oh, you make a million pounds and then you can you spend it how you want. Yeah, that's a very Tory way of thinking. I know, <laughs> uh, sadly. <laughs> I'm just trying to think uh, outside the box. Yeah. You know, but... You go out there, you go out there and you work, mate, all right? Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you go and do it. Yeah. Don't worry about the is, government. You, I mean, is wealth shared or is it created? Is, we, is there a certain amount of wealth out there we just share it out? Or do you go out and create your own wealth? You have to create your wealth, but you have to also... By offering something. No, you. everyone has to go out and create their own wealth. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has to go out and in Islam we say risk, go out there and get your risk. Yeah. What is, what is written for you, Yeah. your sustenance. Yeah. But everyone has a responsibility to look after those who cannot look after themselves. Okay. Do you understand? So it's like people at the bottom of the ladder who are not in a position to have the same opportunities that you do, you have to look after those people. Yeah. You know? How can how can you go through life not acknowledging that? It's beyond me. I don't know. Yeah. So we should have rich and poor, but the rich should help the poor. Exactly. Without question. And there should be a welfare state. Yeah. There should be uh, uh, benefits for the disabled and, uh, you know, the, I don't know, physically impaired or whatever. They all should be looked after. Yes, 100%. Because you'll have a more progressive society. Yeah. Yeah, progressive. Well, I, I keep coming to the, back to this idea that everything comes in pendulum swings and will, will become very masculine then we'll go very feminine then we'll be back in the middle everyone's getting very feminine now but yeah we're in that phase because we've come through a very masculine phase and then it will it will even out again why why are we why is man becoming more like i don't know because we went too far one way and we're now going too far the other way and it will it'll even itself back out and we will be able to live together and just treat people equally but understand that men and women are different and we will be able to pay the same for the same job and we won't mind if men do certain jobs and women do other jobs because we'll understand that that's in our nature. At the minute, well, we're on a bit of a backlash. Right. That's why, I'm, that's the way I'm thinking about it. Maybe that makes me... But I think it could be quite dangerous if man loses his masculinity, he might not ever get it back. Do you reckon? Yeah. But the, the, the way I see it, this universe might get destroyed but something will come back uh, well as um, what do you, what, what's that group called again who vegans no the other one religion extinction no, rebellion extinction says rebellion. Yeah, there's yeah, only two got, generations 12, left yeah, we've got 12 years to live yeah two generations left and that's it we're out of here they've been saying that for a long time they've had enough apparently they're not gonna be nice anymore so they got to go and um, stop trains and interrupt everyone's oh, lives. Oh yeah, they're pushing that. Uh, Why do you got to interrupt everyone's lives for? That's what I, I don't understand. Yeah, they brought London to a standstill. Crazy. Can you imagine if people in solidarity with Julian Assange were uh, bringing London to a standstill? They would have been turfed out of there. There would be tanks on the street. Straight away. 